y'all are in for one of North Carolina's biggest treats, pig picking cake. Now today we're going to be baking one of the best light and fruity delicious cakes that you'll ever have. It's a huge favorite over the summer and if Father's Day is coming up or any special occasion you can make it for your family. Uh, you'll need a 15 ounce can of mandarin oranges not drained, a small instant vanilla pudding, um, 3.4 ounces of jello, uh, we'll need some Wesson vegetable oil or any type of vegetable oil, the light kind, and as well as one Duncan Hine cake mix and four eggs. So let's get baking it. In your mixer, combine the Duncan Hine yellow cake mix and the Jello instant pudding. And just beat it on low to blend it up. Then we want to add three-fourths cup of vegetable oil and all four eggs as well as the oranges. And I'm gonna show you how to measure that out. Back in the day, the original recipe called for an 11 ounce can of mandarin oranges. Well, now they're coming 15. So take out all the oranges and put into a two cup measuring cup and the oranges and the juice should measure a cup and a half. That's the easiest way to do that. And just pour all of that into your mixing bowl. You'll probably have a little juice left over to discard or use it in something else, but that's fine. Blend everything up well for about two minutes. Scrape down about halfway through. And then we're gonna evenly distribute it into three greased pans. You need to try my cake release if you've not. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Oh gosh, they bake up so nicely. First, I did it for 20 minutes and checked on them. And then I baked them about two more minutes. The cake should be just very lightly brown and the edges should start pulling away from the sides. Now, another way to test is to very gently press on the top and it should come right back up. It should not stay in an indention. Aren't they beautiful? They are absolutely beautiful and they're ready. Let's get some icing done after they're all cooled out. We're gonna let them sit in the pan for five minutes so that they will stabilize and cool down. And then we're gonna turn them out. And oh gosh, they are just so beautiful. Once the cake layers are totally cool, let's make some icing. You need a large can of crushed pineapple in its own juice. And another small jello pudding, 3.4 ounces. Just sprinkle it all into the pineapple and you're just gonna stir it up and mix it very well. Next, you'll want a 16 ounce container of Cool Whip or whipped topping. And I like to put about a cup and a half on a piping bag. Do you know you can practice piping Cool Whip on the lid? Yes, you can. But we're gonna add that into the pineapple mix. You're gonna fold in about 12 ounces of that 16 ounces. The other four you can use for decoration, or it's just extra Cool Whip to eat on top of berries or whatever you want to use it for. But blend it very well, and it's gonna be a very pale yellow. And the jello remembers in it, and it's gonna set up after we put the cake in the refrigerator. This is the easiest cake to make. I promise you it is. We're gonna probably use about a cup and a half of icing in between the layers and just spread them out to the edges. Now all you gotta do is repeat with the other two remaining layers. Spread it all out to the edge. And once you get the third layer on top, look what you're gonna do. Put the rest of it. Just be a little easy pulling it down from the top, down the sides. It's really simple to ice. It's not hard. Once you pull it down on that section, you just turn it and do it around the entire cake. And then you have options, I'm gonna tell you, about your decorating. Now, one of the easiest things to do is just fluff this up. Once you get it all covered, just take the end of your spatula and just make little points. Just dot, 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 dot. Or you can smooth it out. I took this same cake and just on a turntable smoothed it out with the spatula and now I'm going to decorate it with that leftover icing or actually it's Cool Whip <laughs> and just make some swirls to make it really pretty around the top and you can even take the Cool Whip and write a happy birthday message if you want to. And this is up to you but I tell you it's one of the best cakes you can ever make. 
This cake is so light and fluffy and delicious. Keep it in the refrigerator and it really gets better. Make one for your family today. Ooh, they'll love it. Thank you for subscribing. Click like, share, and just enjoy this recipe. God bless. Bye-bye.